Sunday's game, here's where I'm going to start with Kenny Pickett's first career start. I know the Steelers entered this game as 14-point underdogs. It was the largest underdog deficit the Steelers faced going into a game since 1969. That was before the NFL-AFL merger. But CBS thought this was going to be a closer game because they put their number one team on this game. I, Jim Nance, Tony Romo are there. And the Steelers just didn't show up. I Like, I know Boswell missed two field goals, so maybe it would have been a little bit better. But, man, it just goes to show you, to me, quarterback isn't the only issue in Pittsburgh right now, and the Steelers have now lost four in a row. Yeah, so we're just, we just going to be honest, and it's just this is just my opinion, Mark. Yep. Deontay Johnson said something a couple of weeks ago, and he said we're in a rebuilding year right now, a stage at this point in time. And I know a lot of people didn't want to hear it or don't want to hear it because when you say Pittsburgh, you usually think of success. When you say Pittsburgh, you usually think of playoffs. When you say Pittsburgh, you usually think of, okay, they're going to have an opportunity to hoist that Lombardi. And this year has probably been, I ain't going to say has probably, this year has been the most challenging year, not only for Pittsburgh, not only for the fans, not only for the players, not only for the coaching staff, just everything in general. So, um, and we say it all the time, sometimes you just got to take E and listen to what the players say. And this is exactly what the young man said a couple of weeks ago. Frustrating, yeah. Um, if it's somebody I want to go in the trenches with and feel like we have a shot to get ourselves out of this hole, it would be Coach T. That's exactly what it would be. So what I know about Coach T is, and being a head coach, by the end of the day, other than you putting your money up, you're running a billion-dollar industry. That's exactly what you're doing, you know? And Coach T has proved time and time out. I don't know what the record's going to be by the end of the season. Mm -hmm. But Coach T has proved time and time out. He's always figured out a way by the end of the season that our team going to have some fight. And the sad thing about it was on Sunday was like, for the most part, it wasn't no fight. Mark, you know, so um, three points. And we've been talking about this throughout the course of the season. I think Pittsburgh is averaging now probably 15, 16 points a game. That's not going to cut it. I think the Pittsburgh Steelers defense have the most plays um, out of any other team by being on the field. It's not going to cut it. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a rebuilding. We're in a rebuilding stage, my personal opinion, this year. And the, the first step of, of building a block and trying to set a foundation was to get Kenny Pickett on the field. So that's that's the first step, and that's some fight. Um, everything else, Coach T, I, I know Coach T will figure everything else out with this team. But um, I remember when we played the Patriots, and we, they, they, <laughs> we got our butt smacked, just like Coach T said. We got a good, good old-fashioned whooping. And it just be like that sometimes. But the expectations, when you say the Pittsburgh Steelers, you don't think of a 38-3 to outlook. Ike, you're talking about the opener in the 2019 season? Um, I don't know what year it was. 2019, I'm talking about when I played. Okay, so okay. It had to be like 20, 2010, 2011. Okay. We could go back and look that up. To me, this is the worst loss since the 2019 opener against the Patriots when they won 33 to three. And Ike, that's when we started doing the Believe in Steelers show together. I go back to, you know, coaches will put their players in an opportunity to succeed. But before Kenny Pickett even took a snap, Steelers were down 7 0, were very nearly down two scores, if not for a field goal block. And then you go put your rookie on the field facing a 7-0 deficit, what could have been a 10-0 deficit or more, maybe a 14-0 deficit before he even takes a snap. And the Bills were without Jordan Poyer. They were without Micah Hyde. They're two star safeties. On the offensive side of the ball, Dawson Knox, their starting tight end, was out. 
and they still got smoked. And it was like, man, 